form of lead out into this climb. Just trying to see who else has numbers here. UAE with those three riders. Elisi did make it across. Trentin looks like they're working for Hershey. Arkea Samsic with three or four riders as well. Q36.5 seem to have a few numbers in here. And Lotto Destiny. AG2R just lining up on the right hand side. So it looks like we're going to get a huge race, a huge rush into the final kilometre where it begins to really kick up to the line. And we're going to see who has the strongest team and the best legs on the day come the end of this one. Four riders from Arkea Samsic getting into position. Norwegian flag there on the back of Frederik Zverinus. He's the national champion. It's all leasing out the front for UAE team Emirates. Trentin will try to guide Hirschi into a position where he can win this race. Right turn coming up now, two and a half kilometers to the line. The red jerseys of Uno X still in control. They speak to each other on the radio. Stefano Oldani is just behind them in the blue jersey. He represents Alpa Sinta Koenig. Pozzo Vivo here at the back and his teammate Strong is further up. 107 is the jersey number to look out for for him. Zbaragli is in there, waiting to go. He sits on the wheel at the moment of Oldani. Is it going to be a rare opportunity to do something himself for Oldani? I would have thought so. Looks like everyone just trying to leave it as late as possible. They know how important it is to carry speed into that final up. He was flicked to the left-hand side of the road from Jaco Alula and Alpsin de Koenig. But so important to get your timing right with these uphill punchy finishes. Go too early, use up your men and leave your sprinter exposed as you hit the lower slopes and they're going to get swamped. Velasco still in there following the wheels. He's looking for the wheel of Christian Zbaragli. Alessandro De Marchi doing everything he can to put Filippo Zana in the right position. And it's still to be a Holland Johannesson at the back of the line there for Uno X. And on the right hand side now, several riders from Lotto Destiny moving up. Camp tries to get involved in there again for Tudor Pro. This Fatsion tries to get himself into a decent position. Coming up towards the final kilometers now. 1.2 k's to go. Flam Rouge is just up the road here. Fiamarossa time. One kilometer to go. The Giro del Veneto will be decided here on the hill to Monte Berico. It's all to fight for, it's all to go for, and it's a lightning pace being put on the front for Uno X, following our UAE team Emirates. As you desire, moving up with Kuznofua and Vendrame. A couple of those green jerseys from Green Project Pardiani in there as well. But keep your eye on here, she, he's poised and ready to go. The meters tick away, 700 to go now as the finish line is just up the hill here. Those red jerseys that have come all the way from Norway are really taking it to the World Tour teams. A couple of riders in there for Q36.5. It's Strong out, and I'm looking at Corbin Strong now in about 15th to 20th position. A lot of room to make up. Kuznofoy going one side. It's Trentin now on this left-hand side, trying to be followed by Calzoni as well. Here she now is looking for this. And it's uh, Kuznofoy who still tries to go 250 metres. And with Arkea with a couple of jerseys up there having an opportunity, there is still that chance for them to take it. But here goes here she now on the left-hand side as we look at it in the white jersey. Maybe boxed in and that could do for him. It goes across the row, but here she's still battling, still trying to get through. I'm not sure he can do it. He's running out of gas. You can see there that also it's Vermeers, but look at Dorian Gaudon. Look at Dorian Gaudon. This is a brilliant effort by the man from Azure de Zer. And he does it. Dorian Godon all the way to the line. He's done it on the uphill before in Belgium. He does it here in Italy. It's just a ninth victory of the season for Azure de Zer. And Dorian Godon takes the Giro del Veneto. Wow, that was just a pure line and Godon only going away from the rest of the pack at this point. Really, really strong sprint. Interesting to see Uno X rider. Did he get up to take second place on the line? It's going to be very close between those two. Corbin Strong up there for fourth place. That looks certain. And I think it was a fifth place for Mark Hirschi. The rider there for Lotto Destiny was for Mir Sanning. Really good from uh, Godin. 
getting up the inside of Vermeersh on that left-hand turn, just able to take the shortest line possible through the final couple of corners. But what allowed him to do that was simply having the legs as everyone else was fading. He seemed to be still speeding up towards the line. Uno X rider finished super strong. Corbin Strong finished fast as well. Hershey just dying in those final 50 minutes. The first ever French winner of the Giro del Veneto. Godon beats Tobias Hall and Johannesson, Flona and Vermeers, Corbin Strong and Mark Hirschi. Mozzato, the best local finisher, Battistella in seventh place with Louvel, Kron and Brambilla all in the top ten. A sensational win for Dorian Godon. A rider just keeps...